Hi there, my name is Cuppy Kates, and welcome back to A Tale of Two Sisters with Dawn, our dinless queen of the whole Yellowstone world, or so she thinks. <laughs> she is sitting here amongst the flowers, looking over at this beautiful, beautiful view. That is one thing I can say for Dawn, is she definitely enjoys being free, she enjoys the scenery around her, the world that she lives in, so much that she is dangerously taking her pups with her everywhere she goes. Meanwhile, Dusk is hanging out in the shadows. How appropriate. <laughs> Um, but we are struggling with something that I didn't think we would struggle with, and that's this. I honestly thought we would be a little bit better with this, but because we move so slow and the pups get tired so often and our affinity can drop so quickly, we really aren't able to run around and take territory, and now Crevice Lake is getting a little out of hand, which is scary because to me they are the most aggressive pack out of Oh, I'm hoping today we can take some chances and go take some territory. As for the pups, they're doing great other than uh, 2M. Um, it seems like they're mostly well rested. We will likely be naming babies today, but first I kind of want to move them to a new spot and see if I can't get Dusk and Dawn some food. It does seem like they have a carcass right there. Oh, yes. Okay. How's our affinity? 97 isn't bad. So we're going to call Dusk to us. Come, my king. Royalty must eat food. <laughs> and we are definitely going to go and grab some food for them. And then come back to the pups. Feed them. Move them. And see if we can't fix this territory problem we've got going on right now. Well, there wasn't very much left on that carcass, but Dawn and Dusk were able to eat just enough. And luckily the bunnies are abundant in this area for some reason. I think we've already caught three so far. And so Dawn is thinking it's a wonderful idea. She's gonna bring the bunny back to her puppies and show them what a bunny looks like because she is going to be our little, <laughs> our little teacher of how to be a queen and how to eat. I think she has decided that she is the only authority and so <laughs> this is what she's done with her babies. Speaking of bunnies, so I do believe it was 4F. Uh, I will have to go back and look at the comments but I'm pretty sure it was 4F that had chased the bunny in the last episode which was so very precious and so we are going to end up giving her a rabbit name i haven't decided a lot of you said to name her bunny um but i kind of like the idea of playing with that a little bit i love the name hair i would just go ahead and name her hair if i could but I was like, hmm, what is rabbit or bunny or hare in another language? Maybe we could do something like that. Or I might just go ahead and name her hare since she was chasing the hare. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my goodness. We have so many wonderful, very <laughs> personality heavy puppies in this litter. So I think we're going to go ahead and move them. Now, who was the most tired? Okay, 2M. So we need to find 2M who's laying down right now, are lazy bones. And we're gonna start moving them this way. The more we're able to move them into a territory we haven't taken, the better off we are in getting more territory. And another rabbit has been caught. And as soon as I put it down, 4F was like, wait, what does mom have? And, and now she's completely disinterested. <laughs> All right, pups, let's keep moving. Well, I think this is as open as we can get in this area. I wanted to find a more open spot, but poor 2M only has 3% wakefulness left. He is exhausted. All the babies are so tired. Look, 3M is tired, 2F is tired. So we're gonna let them rest in the grass. Come here, 2F. I can carry you the rest of the way. 
All right, there we go. Okay, and then while we uh, let them rest for just a minute, we are gonna take the time to name the babies. Well, I was about to bring you back and then a cougar started to attack. Luckily, everybody's in the grass right now. And the cougar gave up. <laughs> we were already prepared. We knew what to do. Dawn was ready. But I finally chose names. Guys, this was one of the hardest things I've like... <laughs> I thought charm was hard to choose. I really did. I was like, how, how am I going to do this? Um, I'm going to go take territory real quick while I still have some energy. And uh, <laughs> we can talk a little bit about the names. But oh my gosh, there were so many. And I was sitting there kind of panicking like, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings if I don't pick their name. I hope I don't. I tried to pick as many, as, uh, as, as many duplicates as I could. Boy, I'm going to trip over my words today. I can already tell. It's going to be one of those days where the brain works faster than the mouth. Uh, but yes, there were so many. So I tried to choose duplicates. There were a couple that I just kind of picked for myself um, that were still suggestions from you guys, but I was like, I really like that. Even though there's no duplicate, I really like that name. And you guys have some amazing naming skills. Oh my goodness. I bet if you play this game, all of your pups have amazing names. Oh. Okay. So the territory is making me panic a little. Just a little. Um, it's nothing too awful. But I'm going to take some more pieces, like I said, and then I'll meet you guys back. We'll sleep, and then we'll name the pups once they are fully rested. All right, so I had to bring you back because I have been sneakily taking spots away from Crevice Lake because any day that I get to ruin Crevice Lake's life is a good day. So I also brought you back to show you guys that I had found a very special item. And the cool thing about Dawn is that she gets a point when she finds any items or special locations. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her a point. Boop. Hopefully I remember where all the special locations are because it, like it doesn't pop up on the side like, hey, this is Crystal Lake after you found it. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I can still uh, remember so that she gets points. But yes, we got her an item. <gasps> is this another one? The plastic cooler? Yes, let's go. Oh, this is Crystal Lake, isn't it? I think this counts as a location. I'll have to look at it real quick. But we're about to find the cooler, yes! So that is another point. We're gonna do it. Okay, so it's actually called Unnamed Pond and I'm not entirely sure if this that I found is the Unnamed Pond. If it is, please let me know in the comments. If it's not, feel free to leave a hint. Um, don't tell me where it is, but you're welcome to leave a hint to help me out a little bit. And we are headed back to the babies now. Oh my gosh, we did so well. Okay, so let me show you. So I went ahead, I took some stuff back from Crevice Lake. I strengthened some pieces that are being taken. Now some of the ones down there we'll have to do next, but Honestly, I'm pushing in to the other side of the map towards the gravel fan. That's where I want to make our territory stronger, especially since most of those territories have not been taken yet. So once we get back to the pups, we're going to do a really, really good sleep. We're then probably going to have to hunt for a bit, but then we can do some more territory taking. And I can't remember who it was that told me. I want to say it might have been you, Breadcrumb. But somebody told me that as long as you are howling, you can strengthen your affinity with your mate by howling and them howling back to you. So howling strengthens affinity while you're away. That is really cool and nice. And while Dusk is there, um, sh he's definitely keeping the pups happy, entertained, and letting them rest. So the affinity hasn't been an issue and I've been gone a really long time. So those were all really good tips. You guys are helping me out so much and I really appreciate it. 
We are back. We're gonna call the babies out for just a minute. They are a little bit hungry and we were eating bunnies all along the way. So, ooh. So we should be fine to feed them a little bit. And like I said, we're gonna sleep and then we're gonna name them in the morning once I've determined they're safe and everything is okay. No cougars, no coyotes, no nothing. All right, eat up little ones, eat up. Eat your dinner, your very late night dinner, and then I shall name you in the morning. I dub it name day. <laughs> All right, we're sleeping. Oh, it's so good to see uh, that Dawn is doing so well through this until that happened. Every time I say it, it's like a jinx it. Every time I say that. I'm actually not surprised that we we're getting a sick pup. I was a little concerned sickness would be an issue. 5F, no, before you even get your name. All right, who's angry? Probably Crevice Lake, because I just took a whole bunch of territory from them. Junction Butte, interesting. Oh, thank you, Dust. Gosh, they do so much damage. Well, that was a piece of cake at least. <laughs> Dawn will never have issues with getting to chase off wolves. It makes her happy. <laughs> okay, Pops, it's name day! Let's give you your names. Okay, so. This was tough, as I said before, but here we go. Here are the names. So, 2F. Name. 2F shall be named Journey. A lot of you actually suggested the name Journey and it was so fitting to our goal here, to our story of Dawn and how she is journeying through life rather than staying in one place. And that was suggested by Kelsey, uh, Georgia, and Kimpson, and I think Kimpson, you said you wanted a male to be named Journey. Uh, we had a lot of females in this group, and I thought Journey was a pretty unisex name, so I hope you don't mind. But yes, you all suggested it, and I wanted to make sure it happened. Okay, next is 3F. So 3F, I got to participate in naming. <laughs> 3F will have the name Fawn, and I suggested that name, but Western, you said you loved that for 3F specifically, and that 3F came to mind when the name Fawn came to mind, and so thank you for agreeing with me, Western, and 3F will be named Fawn. Next is 4F. 4F was the one that chased the bunny, and I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it, and I was like, if I name it Hair, or if I name it Bunny in a different language, y'all will be disappointed. So I'm like, nope, Bunny it is. And that was suggested by a lot of you. We had Western as well, Kelsey, Citrus, and Snow all said that Bunny is the perfect name for 4F. And then 2M is gonna have a fun name because this isn't a different language. Um, and I'm probably gonna say this inaccurately to how the language actually is but this is as close as I can get it from what hubby has taught me about Norse. This is Stigender. And I'm pretty sure I said that wrong, but maybe I did it. So Stigender means wanderer in Old Nor or in Norse in general. I don't know if it's Old Norse, but in Norse, that is what that means. So this is our little wanderer, the one that we lost. <laughs> so Stigender is now a part of our little pack here. Okay, and that was suggested by Aliox. Thank you, Aliox. I love Norse. My Norse heart is very happy. <laughs> and then 3M is going to be named Mallow. I love the name Mallow. I know it's a little random. It was suggested by Eco, but it was so cute. Eco, I had to pick one of your names. I love Mallow. So little 3M is Mallow. So thank you, Eco, for that name suggestion. And 5F, I hope by giving you your name, it encourages you to bit get better. But we are going to name this little pup Nightingale. 
I love that name. I think 5F is our darkest name and it was a battle between Nightingale and Shadow in the end because I also love the name Shadow which was suggested by Snow. But Nightingale was suggested twice so I had to choose that one and that was suggested by Knight and Kelsey. So Kelsey you suggested a bunch of good names. I think you were mentioned three times in this one. <laughs> but yes, yay! This is all of our little babies. They now officially have names. And now that we are mostly well rested, we are going to start our journey once again. And I will meet you guys back if anything happens. Hopefully only good stuff. Oh panic. Oh panic. Where's the grass? Where is grass? Oh gosh. Oh boy. So sorry, y'all. I was just panicking for like th th 20 minutes, it felt like. Come here, love. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe I was able to do that. Oh, pups. Pups. Loves. I'm so happy you're here. I couldn't find grass anywhere. I guess there was some over there. I was panicking so much. I really need to be more careful. This is why Dawn doesn't like these forested areas, is that it's really hard to maneuver. She can't see all that well. Fine, eat some more food. I can't regurgitate. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna try and keep... It was right there. I'm gonna try and keep grass in my sights. Oh my children. We almost lost a BB because I couldn't find any grass. Oh, that was terrifying. Hi, bunny. Hi, my love. Ooh. I actually really like this area for a potential, uh, I believe there's a rendezvous site over here because Soul Dreamers actually suggested I use the rendezvous site over here um, due to the fact that it helps with seeing predators from uh, coming, seeing them coming. I think it was over here. I could be wrong. All right, pups. Hey, get some water. Look, 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 look. Drink like mom. Drink like mom. See? Just like that. All right, come on, loves. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, they're doing so good, you guys. They're doing great. Oh, I bet Dawn loves this area here by the river. She doesn't love the forest, but she, I think she enjoys water greatly. She didn't get to see a lot of water as a pup. So I have this feeling that she's just happy to walk upon this little creek and, and let the pups play and let their feet play in the water as well. Who's swimming? No one better be swimming right now. <laughs> no one better be swimming. I think I'm gonna tuck them into this little grass patch right here and use this opportunity to take Dusk on a hunt real quick. All right. Dusk, why haven't you gone to get Nightingale yet? Okay, there's Mallow and Bunny. Nightingale has fallen behind quite a bit. Stigander is also back here like mom, I'm tired. <laughs> there you go, love. Did you get caught in the water, Nightingale? Is that what happened? Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh no, you're sick. You're sick! Why wasn't I carrying you? What is wrong with me? Honey, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, my sweet. 
Okay, be in there with your with, with your with your with your siblings. I can't talk today. That's apparently a thing. How are we doing? Okay, 89% actually isn't too bad. I think that would give us enough time potentially to go on a small hunt. Mule deer might be the only way we can go right now. Are we slow? We are not slow, actually. Okay. I actually got a really great tip watching one of Jay Play's streams the other night. I did not realize, but if you target an enemy, I just did it with Bunny. But if you target an enemy first, apparently it's more likely that you're gonna match the, the prey, or I said enemy, the prey's pace as opposed to outpacing them, which is what we actually want to do. Okay. <gasps> Are you serious? Are we about to get lucky right now? Hold on. <gasps> this could be a lucky break where we don't have to hunt. Oh, I wonder how far it is. Hopefully it's not too far. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, this is excellent. And here's Dusk to come help us eat this. A buck, a mule deer carcass. There isn't a whole lot left, but there's enough for me to get full and there's enough for Dusk to have some. Oh, that is such good news. And we're in an area that has not been taken. So Dawn is gonna take advantage of that and howl. Howl, my girl. <laughs> Kiva was making excited huffy sounds behind me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you say hi? <laughs> she did not want to come back in here with me for a little bit, and I was like, aw, she's tired of mom. She wants to go be with dad. <gasps> are you for real? Hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, please tell me the winds didn't change. <gasps> no way. No way. Okay, we do have to hurry though because affinity this could be so great though oh but yes yeah, so she didn't want to come in here with me <laughs> so i was like hmm bribery and i got a treat <laughs> and she did some tricks for mom and then she laid down oh she's like i got itches mom hold my cows hold my cows mom i got the itches I know it's not fleas because she got a super special shot that apparently gets rid of, uh, or not gets rid of, but repels fleas, ticks, and heartworm. <laughs> Usually I have to get those separately, but this one does all three in one. Oh my gosh, there it is. We're not even that hungry! <laughs> this is amazing! Done! See... Dawn has her father's luck, and unfortunately, I feel like Aurora has her uncle's luck a little bit. Alright, let's howl! Are we close to their marker? Because we could just take this, and it would be hilarious. No, we're not. But, well, at least Dusk is getting some really good food right now. Well, I may have attracted attention. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit of attention. Oopsie. I guess I could put this down and fight them if I wanted to, but I don't have much for stamina right now. So the fight isn't smart at the moment. Oh well. But we can at least howl to keep our territory strong. Jerks. Okay, well, I'm going to very quickly leave it here because our affinity has dropped super low, but I am out of time for Miss Dawn here in the flowers. Oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> All right, guys, if you liked that video, make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already. Ring the bell to get notifications of when I post Dawn's episodes and Aurora's episodes because I do highlight reels for Aurora. And then join our Discord so you can talk with me and the community every day. And then again, follow me on Twitch. That way you can watch Aurora live. All right, guys. I love you. Thanks again for watching. And I will see you next time, next weekend, for more Dawn, A Tale of Two Sisters. Bye.